Wait, hold on. Let's do a flip right here and whoosh. Ladies and gentlemen, what if I told you guys that you guys can build a working hang glider and build a boat for treasure? This is what I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to build today. And yeah, so this is one of the craziest things you guys can ever build. So as you guys can see, there is no huh? glider right here. You guys are probably like, wait, where is the glider? But if I click this switch right here, it's going to bring it up just like that. And basically what it does is it brings it out just like this. And you guys can just go on a smooth ride with your glider. As you guys can see, this is actually one of the smoothest rides in Build-A-Boat. You guys can literally just get to the end just like this. And we're just cruising. We're bruising. We're just cruising. Oh my gosh. Oh no. We just hit the honey stage. You guys, not only can you use it just on the grass, but you can also use it on building. So today we're joined by Dash over here who created a nice looking building. And we're going to be jumping off it. So let's go. I'm going to flick the switch. Oh my gosh. The glider's appearing. And we're going to go down just like that. Oh my gosh. We're gliding down that huge building yeah so this thing is actually insane by the way make sure to subscribe to dash in the description because this building is awesome you guys can just go ahead and glide wherever you guys want you guys can literally glide anywhere the thing about adrianzo's parachute is that you weren't able to go up but now with this thing you guys can actually go up just like that and you guys are probably wondering, Bruh. what is all this stuff? Oh my gosh. So I turned everything to be visible so then you guys can see the mechanics of it. So I'm gonna be gliding away from the tower. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and just try to get to the end with this thing. So I'm just gonna be clicking the switch just like that. The glider's gonna pop up just like that. We're gonna just go ahead and get to the end. Guys, I just still cannot believe literally how smooth this is. And we're just gliding over all these stages over here. I think I just hit something. And now my glider's acting a little crazy. So um, I think we could just get to the end like that. But my, my glider all of a sudden started acting crazy after I hit something. So we're just going to be quickly hopping our way to the chest and claiming our treasure. And boom. Okay, let's go ahead and claim our treasure just like that. And we got our golden block. This is actually so good because you guys can get the max amount of gold that's possible when you're actually getting gold from build a boat. Without further ado, I'm just going to be teaching you guys how to build this thing. It's really, really easy and simple. So let's get into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is make a pole that's extended up. So I'm going to make a pole just like this. I'm going to make it until it's 22 studs. And then what you guys want to do is just scale this pull up until it's one exact block, just like that. Now what I'm going to do is place a seat facing backwards. So make sure it's faced backwards and place it just like that. Now go ahead and get a titanium pole and place it halfway, just like that, inside the block. Now just get a piston. So I'm going to get my piston over here and I'm going to place it um, unanchored. And I'm going to place it, um, rotate a little, just like that. And then make sure to extend it out. Now get a servo, so I'm going to search it up, servo, and I'm going to place it under this piston just like that. So make sure it's faced this way, so the white part is facing up and the gray part is facing down. Now what you guys want to do is get another piston and go ahead and place it down here. So I'm going to place it just like that. Make sure to extend it. Now I'm going to get titanium blocks, so I'm going to place one two just like that and now we're going to be making the magnet glitch. So we're going to be going ahead and getting a wheel. And let's place one halfway, just like that, and one halfway, just like that. Now get two magnets on this side, just like this and this, and then place one magnet on this side, just like that. Now we're just going to get one titanium block right here and place it in the middle of these two wheels. Now we're good to go to actually make our hang glider. So I'm going to be using plastic for this, so I'm going to place a plastic block right here. And I'm going to scale it down to 0 0.5. Then I'm going to extend it out a little until it's 10 studs right here. 10 studs. So now what I'm going to do is put my rotate on 45 degrees. And place the plastic block rotated just like that. I'm going to put my scale onto 0 0.5. And scale it down a little just like that. And then scale it all the way down. And I'm going to set my scale to 2. And just scale it out just like that. And I'm going to do it again. So rotate like that. 
put my scale on 0.5, scale it down, and boom. So as you guys can see, we got that, and now I'm gonna put my scale on two, and I'm extended out just like that. Now I'm gonna put my scale on 0.5, and extend out one, and extend out one, just like that. And then I'm gonna use one of the wings to fill in this gap, so I'm gonna do it just like that. So as you guys can see, we got this. Now I'm gonna put my scale on two again, and I'm gonna extend out a little, just like this, so I'm extending out a little, just like that. By the way, you guys can make any parachute shape you guys want. Just make sure it's not connected to this and make sure it's not connected to the wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, extend this a little and extend this a little too, just like that. Now I'm gonna just put my scale on one and I just extend it out a little until it's perfect, just like this. So now I'm basically done with the shape of the glider. So now I could just paint it whatever color. I'm gonna go to more and actually make a custom color. So I'm gonna make this a little darker or something or maybe pick another different color and just do this just like that so then it's orange. So guys, I'm not really liking this shape right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend it a little just like that to make it look perfect, just like this. This is just a little fix up and we're done. So now what I'm gonna do is put my move on 0.5 and turn on match rotation. And then I'm gonna place a block right around here, just like that. And then I'm gonna scale this down on 0.5, just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scale it in just like that. So that's basically how you do the lighting of this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up. Now on this middle part, I'm gonna go ahead and scale it in a little just like that. I'm gonna put my scale on 0.2 and scale it in a little just like that. I'm gonna scale it a little bit just like that. And then I'm gonna put my scale on to 0.5 and scale it down. So I got this shape and then I'm gonna go ahead and scale it a little bit out just like that. And then now as you guys can see, it's not perfect. So I'm gonna put my scale on 0.2 and move it over a little just like that. And I think that is good to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make these lining parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, put my move on to one, um, put my match rotation on, and actually I'll put my move on 0.5 to get exact. Place two blocks over here, um, another block right here. I'm gonna put my scale on 0.5 and scale it a little in. So let's scale it just like that. Scale it down and then go ahead and connect it right here. So I'm gonna do the same. So scale it all the way in, scale it all the way down, and connect it to the pole. And as you guys can see, we got our lining. Now, I'm gonna just color this, this color, I think. Nope, that's a little too dull. So, I'm gonna go ahead and paint it this color. And it looks really cool, because it's orange and blue, like how a real glider would be. And now the last part of this build is actually the hang bars. So, I'm gonna go ahead and build them. So, I'm gonna put my move on one, I'm gonna put I'm gonna keep my rotate on 45 and then I'm gonna rotate two times and tilt just like that And then I'm gonna um, put my scale onto one just for now and go like that Just to make sure it's connected and boom So now I'm gonna just scale this a little in just like that Actually, I'm gonna put my scale on 0.5 and scale it all the way in just like that Now I'm gonna just scale this all the way in just like that and then I'm gonna place a block over here and then I'm gonna scale it up, and then I'm gonna scale it all the way in, and I'm gonna just finish this part off, um, maybe 0.2 scale, um, yeah. So now what I'm gonna do is do the same thing, but for the other side, so I'm gonna rotate two times and tilt just like that. I'm gonna scale it in the block so to make sure it doesn't fall off, and scale it down just like that. Scale it all the way in just like that. I'm gonna put my scale onto 0.5 and scale it all the way thin just like that. Now I'm gonna scale it thin just like that, and as you guys can see, it's a working thing. So now I'm gonna just go ahead and connect this pole to this pole, just like that. So we got our working thingy-majiggy. That's basically your um, handlebars. And now I'm gonna just go ahead and paint it. So boom. So now we got it painted and we're basically done with this thing. So now all we have to do is place a switch and a pilot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a switch and I'm gonna place it right here, just like that. And then I'm gonna get a pilot seat and place it on this servo. So I'm gonna rotate it until it's like this and place it just like that. So now the last part that we have to do is just binding. So what I'm gonna do is actually um, place, um, delete that switch and place a switch right there. And I'm gonna replace a switch right here. 
And now I'm gonna delete this switch just like that. So now nothing is connecting to anything. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is connect the pilot seat to the servo, connect the piston, the magnet, the magnet in the magnet to in the in this piston over here. So we got everything selected except the two wheels. And I'm gonna connect it to the switch just like that. So now everything is basically done. So now everything's basically done. So now select all and turn off collision. So I'm gonna turn off collision just like that. And now just turn on collision on this pole right here and turn collision on for this servo. And that is basically it. So you guys have basically finished the tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. So now to set it up, all you guys have to do is sit in the seat just like that, get a cake, delete the seat, select all, and unanchor just like that. And now what you guys could do is just flick the switch right here, and as you guys can see, it's a working glider just like that. Hey, we finished the tutorial. You guys can get to the end. You guys can do so much crazy stuff. Okay, wait, wait, hold on. Let's do a flip right here and whoosh, just like that. You guys can do such cool trick. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you guys did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you guys watch my future videos too. So that'll be all for today. And I'll see you all later.